Let's discuss bond strengthening system and find out if they're still the hottest thing in the hairdressing industry. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we are discussing bond strengthening system. We're going to talk about all about bond strengthening system, where they came from, what are they? Are they still the hottest thing in the hairdressing industry or are they just gone bit meh? So if you want to know more about Bone Strengthen System and where are they gone, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we are talking about Bone Strengthen System and where are they gone and if they're a scam or if they're a hypodord. But before we're gonna do that, we need to turn back in time. Back to 2014 when Oliplex launched. And when Oliplex launched, everyone literally lost their head. Everyone literally dropped everything and says, oh my God, Oliplex, this is the brand new hottest thing on the market. Now bear in mind, that was in 2014 and when they dropped that on Instagram, Oliplex said that you can literally bleach your hair and go from black to white without any damage done to your hair. And hairdressers lost their head, clients lost their head, everyone wanted Oliplex in their hair. And soon after that, every other brand jumped on the topic and they said, you know what, we're gonna make our own version. We had Wellaplex, Smartbond, Fiberplex, K18, and those are just some of the other bond strengthening system along the side of K18 that were created back years ago. But where are they now? Because they are gone. But before we're going to talk about bond strengthening system and where are they gone and if they're still needed in our hair, we really need to find out what those bond strengthening systems done to our hair. But to better understand how bond strengthening system works, we really need to understand the structure of our hair. And our hair is made up of a three main parts. Obviously, we have cuticle, which has endocuticle, exocuticle and epicuticle. So the cuticle is the outside part of the hair. So those are the little shells that we see on the hair so when our hair is dry and you've often heard me talking about porous hair this is the external damage to the hair fiber so when our cute so when the cuticle is shattered this is the external damage due to heat or anything like that obviously then we have the cortex and cortex has a lot of different bonds in it cortex is like the main thing of the hair fiber and if we have chemical damage done to our hair that happens in the cortex of the hair. so it is internal damage and obviously we do have medulla and medulla is not found in every piece of hair so it's very like it's there but it's not there so we're mainly going to concentrate on cuticle and the cortex in the cortex we have disulfide hydrogen and salt bonds disulfide bonds are the strongest bonds and hydrogen bonds are softer bonds so when we blow dry our hair hydrogen bonds are broken with the water and they're set with the heat but obviously once water is added back into them we are getting the shape back so when we're blow drying our hair and creating shape to our hair this is actually the hydrogen bonds being put into a different place but when it comes to like permanent and all that kind of stuff we're actually changing the structure of the disulfide bonds but now let's talk about bond strengthening system so all those bond strengthening system told us that we can literally go from black to white in one step without damaging our hair and our hair is going to be perfectly fine now you guys with 15 years of experience in the industry i did find out one thing that all those bond strengthening systems are not the holy water the hair will still break and the hair will still damage if it's overly used however do they minimize the damage done to the hair fiber and the hair cortex yes they do and is the hair left in a better condition yes it does but can we go from black to white in one sitting and expect our hair to be beautiful shiny and healthy no it will not and that's the ugly truth so bond strengthening system do prevent the bonds from breaking and damaging during chemical services so what happens is during color services ions are left in the hair and those ions tend to be negative and positive so they are mismatched and those ions actually stop the bonds from reforming. Therefore, our bonds are getting weakened and the hair is getting damaged and it's getting sensitized. So what do bond strengthening system done is they capture those ions, making sure that those bonds were getting reformed and restructured during color services. Obviously, did they capture all of them? I'm not sure I wasn't there, but as far as I know, there's still going to be sensitivity to the hair. There's still going to be some damage done to the hair. Is it going to be minimized? Yes it will now you guys 
that was eight years ago. All the Plex came out in 2014. Then all the other brands jump on the wagon and they were like, why are we gonna make that? But that was eight years ago. We're talking about 2014. And to, uh, guys, I need to be honest, which is technologies have moved on. And what do I mean by technologies have moved on? Things have improved. Brands started making products and started being more smart because what people realized, what people didn't realize, hairdressers realized was that Olaplex, Smartbond, Fiberplex, they were not the holy water. I mean, people were using those products because they were on trend and they were popular and they expected magic. However, those products were not always suitable for each client. So what brands done is they started using products so what brands actually done is they actually develop products that have the bonding strengthening system inside them to protect the hair during color and services without additional adding of products so basically our colors and our formulas are better but i'm gonna get more into that because i just feel like i confused everyone the two main ingredients that were always using bond strengthening system was citric acid and malic acid those were like two main ones that people were using and those were very much the ones that were capturing those ions so further down the line we started noticing matrix bringing out pre-bonded hair color so basically what matrix did with their permanent hair color and semi-permanent hair color they put that bond strengthening system inside of the hair color so you no longer needed to ask for all the plex fiberplex or anything like that that was that's inside of the tube at the moment so there's no need for part two so basically that formulation was added to the color and our hair is getting protected and those ions are being captured now you guys think of it this way right if you went to a hair just 30 years ago and you got a full head of bleach your hair will be in bits why because the products back then were not as developed and the formulation weren't as good and obviously science has moved on technologies have moved on everything is getting better and that's what's happening to the market at the moment so bond strength and systems are really dying out because like that brands like matrix are taking the advantage of getting the bond strength and system and putting inside of the color same as shades EQ pre-bonded that was another one or shades EQ bonder inside if you if if you may correct me so basically you had shades EQ which are toners and they had the bond strength and system inside of them let's not forget about bleaches right so when I think of Olaplex and Smart Bond and Fiberplex and all the bond strength system, it was mainly developed for blondes because obviously when we're pre-lightening light, or as you mortals may say, bleaching the hair, we are damaging the hair the most. So obviously brands, for example, L'Oreal Professional, and I have an example over here, they did come out with a pre-lightener with bonder inside so they did use citric acid inside of this to protect their hair so you could still bleach your hair or lighten your hair should i say which is the correct term lighten your hair and keep the condition of the hair to the maximum now when i say to the maximum obviously nowadays the formulations have changed colors are a lot gentler but adding those bond strengthening systems inside of the products do make it a lot easier technologies have moved on we have now products and toners with bonders inside we have bleaches obviously l'oreal did bring out metal detox because why they did find out that metals found in the water are a lot more damaging than anything else to the hair fiber because the buildup of the metal can actually cause breakage and damage to the hair fiber so they brought out different treatments to actually now, now you guys we need to think about this way technologies are moving on so we're finding out a lot more the scientists are doing more research so no longer we need to worry about Olaplex and Fiberplex because we all have that in products nowadays and obviously what other brands started doing is whether it's drugstore or professionals is they started using hair care ranges that had the bond and strength and systems inside of them whether they were drugstore or they were professional we did have them, obviously the ABC, Acidic Bonding Concentrate by Redken, that's one of them. Kerastos was actually one of the first ones to jump on that wagon and I didn't realize that until not so long ago because I remember when they brought out Extensionese and Extensionese is all about hair that goes to nothing and hair that doesn't want to do anything but what they actually one of the main active ingredients in it was malic acid and malic acid is an active ingredient in smart bond and all the plagues if i'm correct so what that done is was strengthen those bonds so the hair would grow stronger and healthier we did find bondy plagues and all those different brands coming out with those bonder products that were strengthened the bonds so basically what brands are doing nowadays is they are repairing the bonds and they're repairing the disulfide bonds using 
products in the salon as well as home care at home. So you no longer find the needs of needing products like Olaplex or Fiberplex or Smartbone because technologies are moving on. And I feel like I've said that a million times. Right, you guys, so as a hairdresser, what can I tell you? I've noticed a huge drop when it comes to products like Smartbond, Olaplex and Fiberplex because I think people realize that it's not the holy water. It had its time, but that was eight years ago. And what I've noticed with a lot of people is that, you know, they have certain issues with their hair, whether their hair is frizzy, their hair is damaged, their hair is dry. And they say to me, it's like, well, I'm using Olaplex shampoo and my hair still isn't better. I was like, yeah, that's all right, missus, because this is not the correct hair care for your hair. People nearly took it for granted as in this one product is going to fix all the problems on earth when it will not. And I think this is what's happening nowadays is the products that we're using in the salon as hairdressers are a lot better. I mean, we have acidic toners nowadays and what acidic toner does, it actually brings the pH of the hair down. So when we're lightening the hair, right? So think of it this way, when we're lightening the hair, the pH is coming up, right? Because we're using an alkaline product, so everything is going up. 20 years ago, we did not have acidic toners. We were using permanent colors, which are also alkaline to tone the hair. And what will alkaline do? It will also shift your natural hair color. So one, it was a lot more damaging on the hair. And two, it wasn't lasting in the hair. So I mean, 10 years after that, we got acidic toners because the scientists were like, right, we need something to balance out the pH. So it's not gonna shift the natural color of the hair, but it will tone the areas that are colored and that need the pH balance, which is very, very important. So as a hairdresser, I get to see the shift and the change in hair colors and how hair colors work and how they improve. And obviously how formulations of color work. I mean, ammonia free color. When like ammonia was the big, oh my God, ammonia, ammonia, ammonia is damaging. And then we got ammonia free hair color, which is, I remember ammonia free hair color came out and it is over 10 years at least. And like back then it was still a very new thing. So technologies are evolving, hair colors are evolving. So I definitely, it's, so I definitely think it's time to put bond strengthening systems that are added into the hair color to bed. And I think what's gonna happen in the next five years is every, hair tube that every hair color tube that is going to be found at the hair salon is going to have a bond strengthen or an ingredient that works as a bond strengthener inside of the tube to protect the hair even more anyways guys thank you for watching this film i hope you found this film interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 do what do take care bye